Hello and welcome to BK History. Today's episode is on the New Deal. By the end of the video, you will learn the following. To understand what policies were involved in the New Deal and to explore how the New Deal impacted the American people. So, in the last video, we found that Hoover's response to the Great Depression was ineffective. This led to the popularity of the Democratic candidate Franklin D. Roosevelt, otherwise known as FDR. Roosevelt had promised the American people a New Deal. And Roosevelt said that he needs a campaign that the New Deal would get the USA out of the Great Depression. So as a result, Roosevelt won the 1932 election by a landslide. He became president in 1933. Now, onto the policies of the New Deal. So, Roosevelt's New Deal aim was, to, aim was to get the USA out of the Great Depression. He wanted to do this by prioritising the following. Getting Americans back to work. Providing relief for the sick, old and unemployed. And getting American industry and agriculture on their feet. Also, the New Deal's three focuses to tackle the Great Depression was relief, recovery and reform. As a result, Roosevelt went straight into action from his first day. In the first 100 days of his presidency, he took emergency control to produce an enormous range of sweeping measures. There were many measures that the New Deal brought, but we are going to focus on three aspects of it. Banks, alphabet agencies and fireside chats. The first aspect we can focus on is the banks. So one of the first things that Roosevelt did in the New Deal was tackle the banking crisis. Before the New Deal, thousands of banks were unstable due to the risks in the stock market. Millions of Americans had lost complete faith in the banking industry. So as a result, Roosevelt proposed the Emergency Banking Act. This meant that he ordered all the banks to close. Banks had only opened until government officials had checked them over. A few days later, 5,000 tr trustworthy banks were allowed to reopen. Also, Roosevelt passed a measure which ensured Americans deposit up to $2,500. This aim was to ensure that banks were safe to use, allowing the confidence of Americans to grow. The second aspect we can focus on is the alphabet agencies. Now Roosevelt planned to get the USA out of the Great Depression through the alphabet agencies. Now alphabet agencies were government programs that were created by the New Deal. They were created to combat against the Great Depression and were established during Roosevelt's first 100 days. Right, so there was lots of alphabet agencies that were created in 1933, but we're going to focus on four only. The first one is the Federal Emergency Relief Administration, known as the FERA. The Great Depression left millions of Americans either homeless, hungry, or struggling to find work. The FERA focused about meeting the urgent needs of the poorest in society. So a sum of $500 million was spent on soup kitchens, blankets, employment schemes and nursery schools. Two, the Civilian Conservation Corps, known as the CCC. So in 1932, unemployment in the USA was at 25%. This involved millions of young male Americans. The CCC was aimed at the unemployed young men in America and the CCC employed 3 million men aged between 18 and 25 to work in forests and national parks. They gained valuable life skills like building shelters and putting fires down. The money uh, earned went back to the men's family. 3. Agriculture Adjustment Act, known as the AAA. Farmers were badly affected during the 1920s and 30s. As a result, the AAA produced farmers to produce less. This would make the price of their products increase, making farmers more money. 
At the same time, the AA helped farmers to modernise and provide help towards their mortgages. And four, the Home Owners Loan Corporation, known as the HOLC. So thousands of Americans could not pay their mortgages due to the depression. The HOLC took over the mortgages and many middle income Americans who were struggling to pay it. This meant that the banks did not repossess their homes. So the HOLC took over around 1 million mortgages at more favourable interest rates than banks were offering. And between 1933 to 1936, the HOLC rescued about 20% 20, 20 of American homeowners and 80% successfully repaid their mortgage. Roosevelt also created a few more alphabet agencies in his second New Deal in 1935, such as the Social Security Act, known as the SSA. The SSA provided state pensions for the elderly and the widows. And the last aspect we can focus on is the fireside chats. More importantly, Roosevelt took time to explain to the American people what he was doing and why he was doing it. Every Sunday, he would broadcast on the radio to the whole nation. These broadcasts would be known as the fireside chats. It is estimated that around 60 million Americans tuned into these fireside chats. And Roosevelt spoke to the Americans to say that the bad times could be overcome. These chats increased the confidence to the American people that the economy was improving and that the New Deal would work. So overall, Roosevelt's plan to get America out of the Great Depression was a New Deal. This would be done through solving the banking crisis, alphabet agencies and his five side chats. However, was this a success? In the next video, we explore whether the New Deal was a success or a failure.